Lucy 语言家教。Business English speakers all over the world are constantly adding new phrases to the language. Not just the native English speakers, Taiwanese English speakers are also busy contributing to the English language, even adding their own business phrases. Cost down is a very popular business phrase here in Taiwan. However, as far as I know, it isn't used elsewhere. For certain. I know it isn't used in the USA. Perhaps cost down, and other interesting Taiwan style English business words and phrases will spread to other countries. In the meantime, Americans will continue to say cost down in their own way, like reduce the price or lower the cost. For today's English lesson, Lucy asked me to focus on business. Businessmen, and what they say to each other. I've been brushing up on business phrases, and I think I'm ready to introduce some of the most popular business English phrases. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Going forward. Going forward is simply another way of saying from now on or in the future. It's often used when a mistake was made. Here's an example. Recently, a business website speculated about an unreleased product. In the end, the product never materialized, and the website's readers were upset. The website offered this apology. This was a learning experience that will result in better judgment going forward. Here's another example. Unlike the first example, this one doesn't have an apology. It really means from now on. Going forward, Starbucks will not provide plastic straws to our customers. Going forward first appeared in the New York Times newspaper on December 27, 1851. It was nine years later, in 1860, before the newspaper used. Going forward, a second time. Now, going forward is a very popular business phrase. Drill down. Drill down is a popular business phrase. It means to search for something or to open something for searching or analyzing. Drill down is certainly a more exciting way to say it. People also use drill into or drill down into. Here's an example. I accessed our company's cloud, drilled down through the folders until I found the Q3 sales report. Here's another example. A manager is discussing inventory at a weekly meeting. Here we have 9.67 days of sales inventory for Q2. 2019 and 12.3 for 2020. Now let's drill into the details and see why DSI increased year over year. In this example, when the manager drills down, he is opening DSI for more detailed analysis. Drill down was first used in the New York Times on January 21, 1863. But it appeared in an article about oil wells. For most of its life, drill down truly meant what it says. But now businessmen are using it for a new and interesting phrase. We hope that you enjoyed today's lesson. Going forward, Lucy and I plan to drill down into even more business English phrases. Please ask for Lucy's. Business Speak Two and Business Speak Three English lessons to learn more business English phrases.